Yeah, look, I mean, we know he's a quality bowler. Obviously, the, the wickets assist him. There's, there's been a little bit of purchase and wickets maybe a little bit drier than we thought it would be. Um, maybe just a little bit too tentative against him. He's, he's He hasn't given us many scoring opportunities. Maybe it's something we need to look at, playing a little bit more positively against him. So that's something the guys will think long and hard about and hopefully employ some of that in the second innings and a little bit tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think there's a difference in the way they approached him. Maybe uh, there's obviously a difference in the surface. Um, he's, he's a lot more effective on these type of surfaces than he would be on a surface like one we added to Wonders. Um, so it's played well into his hands, yeah, the, the type of conditions that have been prepared. Uh, are you, have you been unhappy with the conditions? That have been prepared? No, I don't think we're unhappy with it. I mean, um, Gary and, and, the, and the cricket um, environment that he's created doesn't dictate to any grounds as to what type of pitch he wants to prepare. We, we just really rock up and, and play in the conditions that are, that are provided with. And some conditions suit us and some conditions maybe don't suit us as well as what they would, but there are no complaints from us. Yeah, look, we've had a long summer. Our summer goes back to July last year, so as far as we're concerned, we've had a, there haven't been any uh, any easy tests or, or, or any easy series. Every single series, every single session we play has been played with with, with real purpose and, and tension. So it's um, it's been a long a long summer for us. So I wouldn't say this is our first real test. We've had a, a, a seven months of really intense test cricket and. Um, and this is as, as tough and as intense as any other test session we've played. No, look, at uh, East, history at Newlands generally shows that the third innings is a, is one of the trickier innings to play. Um, and it, I suppose we just need to look back to, to the test match against Australia. We were just just over 200 runs behind, I think, we bowled us out for 49. So if we can get anywhere within 80 to 90 runs with this score, I suppose we'd, we'd probably be pretty happy if we can put in a good performance in the second innings. We know we've got the quality to, to put pucks under pressure in the third innings and, and hopefully chase something around the 250, 260 mark, I suppose. No, for sure. I mean, pucks are, are definitely out of the game at the moment. There's no doubt about that. How do you plan to do Well, like, like I've said earlier, we, we need to go back this evening and, and, and really think about our mindset, particularly playing against Ajma, as to how we need to count him, whether it's defensively or in a more positive way. Um, those plans will hopefully be uh, thought about overnight and executed well tomorrow morning, um, but he's obviously a major threat for us on this particular surface. Yeah, look, the guards, initially speaking to some guys, they, they, they were very impressed with the pacey bowler, particularly his first spell. Um, I think all all information we got and all footage we got was that he was like a mid-130 bowler um, and maybe bowled the quickest ball of the game at up to 145, so so maybe a little bit surprised by the amount of pace he generated on a slowish wicket. Um, but, but generally, I think the guards played him reasonably well.